So in case you didn't know, Lele Pons came out with a new show which is called The Secret Life of Lele Pons. And it turns out that Lele Pons is that I don't even know if I'm allowed to say this on camera, but uh, Lele Pons is an FBI agent. FBI, open up! So I've been watching Lele Pons' new show, and you know, there's like four or five episodes so far, and I'm like, yeah. eh. It's just not it. Watching the entire show, I feel like every episode is the same. Before you hit dislike on this video, let me just bring up some points. And I'm not even a hater. I honestly, I don't hate Lily Pons, but at the same time, I'm not her biggest fan. So me watching this show really shows some commitment to Lily Pons. So Lele, if you're watching this, hi, I watched your show. So as you can see, I've honestly watched most of them. Obviously, I didn't finish them because they're like 28 minutes. And the most interesting one is the last one, which is called The Internet Hates Me. The Secret Life of Lele Pons. I'm not gonna lie, look at how well the first episode starts. Yes, you know what? I am a very easy target. I've always been, since I was a little girl, I've been a very, very easy target because I don't defend myself. And you can say I'm not this. She's ugly. She is not funny. She is a Latina. She is. She is this. Everything that, that everyone you know says. What? Lily not gonna like. She's not gonna respond to you. You can literally throw rocks at her, and she's not gonna say anything to you because that's the way that I am. But I need to be strong because a lot of people are going through worse things than I am. Yeah. Okay. This sucks. Like I understand that this really fans, sucks. So that's how it starts. There's a minute out of 28 or 29 minutes where Lily Pons actually talks about the hate that she gets. But what I've noticed with every single episode is that Lele is playing the victim. Like I'm not trying to say anything. I understand that she's going through a lot. I'm not trying to bash that. I'm trying to bash the fact that, that this entire series, like every single episode, is just Lele either crying or Lele going through something or Lele telling us that she has something going on or Lele going on tour. It's such a repetitive thing seeing the same thing going on. Even on the episode where she says my dad is gay, it basically talks about her dad being gay for a few minutes and then the entire episode is mostly just about Lele talking how she's having a hard time going through things, she has OCD, she has Tourette's, and it's not actually focused on her dad. I'm honestly not trying to hate. Let me just show you the, the latest episode, The Internet Hates Me. Like that's how the first minute started. Now the next 20 minutes after she got the audience attention, this is how the whole 20 minutes goes. I have ticks I used to have when I was 11. I don't know why they came back, but they came back. They're gonna leave. They come back and go. I haven't had it this bad since like I was 11, so hopefully they leave me alone. Stuff. So she starts talking about ticks and that, that sucks that she's going through this. I honestly feel bad for her, but when it comes to the secret life of Lele Pons and the internet hates me, this has nothing to do with the internet hates me on the ticks or then so they're the talking about her ticks so here. you're lucky that you're so functional and you have made by the way the best of everything you have and then there's this guy talking about ticks again which we're completely off topic here i'm pretty much with lele 24 7. so wherever she goes i go let's say if she's got a a, a busy day and now we're starting to talk about lele pond's day the internet hates me when do we start talking about that? We are five minutes in and the only part where she's talking about the internet hates me was the first minute where she's crying and she's playing the victim card. And then we start talking about her, how her day goes, how she's going to therapy. When do we start talking about the, the actual topic of this video? It's like me titling this video, the internet hates me. And then after the first minute of this video, I'm gonna start talking about me going to the beach. So I, you know, the internet hates me. It's been quite a rough day, so. Uh, I don't know how to deal with this. 
Anyways, I actually shot a vlog at the beach, so I'm gonna show you guys that part in a second. Hopefully you enjoy me going to the beach and how I also got a hot dog. The hot dog was actually pretty good. I have to like that's exactly the example. I wanna know more about what Lele thinks of the internet that they hate her. I wanna see more of that. Literally five episodes of the Secret Life of Lele Pons. 99% of them is just Lele Pons telling us what she goes through her day. That's basically it. The titles mean nothing to the show. I think Lele has a great sense of Yes, I have all this stuff going on in my mind and I have Vocal these issues. Coach. Okay. She understands that she has to focus at times and really, you know, be like a laser with what she's trying to do at that moment. The road, so easily. I have no idea what's going on. I've always believed that Lele, as the artist, was I... a superstar. Her Why are we talking about songs right now? Great actresses and, and yeah. even great comedians can sing and she just like could sing on a on a different level. Uh, I'm sorry, what I thought we were talking about how the internet hates her. What happened to that? They literally baited us with one minute. And now we're gonna have to see Lele Pons sing. Oh, but after that, uh, something sad is gonna happen. So get ready for that. Lele's transition into music is different simply because why she has talent. I love this. I absolutely love this. I love the fact that everyone in the comment is being so supportive towards her and I understand. And I'm just here sitting, watching that first minute, feel like I got baited into watching her. And now I'm watching her producer telling me how Lele Pons is a great artist and uh, she's also really good at singing because she sacrificed a lot. Lele's transition into music okay. is different simply because she has talent. So she's different because she has talent. Apparently other musicians don't have talent? This reminds me of my ex and I? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So as you guys know, once we're talking about Lily Pons, uh, he blocked his ex, and then they we're saying that they date. They were oh, sorry. I thought we were gonna talk about Lily Pons getting hate on the internet. What's uh, what's this topic about? Uh, excuse you, I'm telling the story how me and my ex walk. So pay attention to that shit. So we were walking, and then she said, "Holy sh." So next transition is her being a really talented singer jumping into Venezuela. Yes, if you didn't know, Lele Pons is Latina. This week I'm going to be taking a break from my usual YouTube videos to talk about a very serious crisis. Okay. Richard Branson is helping put together a beautiful benefit concert to bring global attention to the unacceptable and preventable crisis that will raise funds for essential humanitarian aid in Venezuela. I don't know what to say. I feel like this episode, not just this episode, most of the episodes from the secret life of Lele Pons are just them trying to make Lele Pons seem like she's such a good person. And I get that. I understand that she's a nice person. People know that Lele is not a bad person. No one actually says that she's a bad person. Just because they don't like your skits or whatever comedy or music or whatever you do doesn't mean that they hate you as a person. They hate your skits. That's it. I'm here to see you talking about how the internet hates you and what you think about it. I do not want to see you sing and your fucking director telling me how well you can sing. I was like, I don't care what's going on. I don't care what's going on in, the, in social media about me or anything. All I care about is sending this message to everybody about what's going on in Venezuela and actually making a difference. So I decided to just block everything out and just focus on the crisis that was happening. Good girl, Lele. I just don't see how people would talk shit about Lele helping Venezuela. I Would people actually do that? That she's helping a country and they're saying, oh, you're helping that country? 
Ah, uh, that's so disgusting. Why are you helping a country? What was Lele trying to say there? I'm trying to understand, but I don't get- What was she trying to say there? <laughs> so in case you didn't know, we're also 17 minutes in. And the only part out of these 17 minutes that she talked about the internet hates me was that first minute. That's it. That's it. She made everyone feel bad for her. And now people are forced to watch this. I was so proud of Lele. She sacrificed so much. What did she sacrifice? She sac I, okay, okay. What did she sacrifice? Let's hear it. Sacrificed, you know, a lot of work on a single that she had worked up to build. And unfortunately, the timing was so bad with the single release being the same weekend as the event. But she prioritized helping her country. So now we're just gonna see Lele Pons at a concert, her performing, which is an amazing thing. Still don't get what the fuck has this to do with the internet hates me. So after 21 minutes, uh, this entire thing is over. We're finally gonna see the hate that Lele Pons gets. Let's watch this shit. Talking about social media, if I wasn't a social media person, I don't think this would have happened, but... Okay, let's see Lele, where's the hate? Let's get like an alligator. Me too. For like Venezuela, I still got a lot of hate. Just people asking why I was there. Or like, I don't deserve to be there. Um. Like, who do I think I am and stuff like that? And I was just like... You were helping. Are we really about to focus on her? The fact that she helped another country and people are hating? I mean, that's basically the internet at this point. The amount of negative comments that I get on YouTube every day is insane. I don't let them get to me. But the fact that she's complaining about this... Dude, dude she has like fucking... How many followers does she have on Instagram? Dude, she has 41 million, million followers on Instagram. Does she not expect to get any hate? 41 million? I have like 13k subscribers and I get a hate every day, let alone 41 million. I'm sorry, this sounds so fucking hateful. People are gonna hate me for this. I gotta get my opinion out there. It's probably a very bad opinion, but it's the reality. Everyone got baited into this one minute of Lily Pond being the victim, but they completely ignored the rest of the video where it's just Lily Pond singing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, please don't, don't hate me. Please don't hate me. Hit like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. I upload frequently because I have no life.